Okay, so if you do any filming, one camera that's really popular for filming these days is a GoPro, regardless of the version. In my wood shop and for some of my running stuff, I use a GoPro, an old uh, GoPro Hero 3. It maxes out at 1080p, but for the stuff I do, it, it's, been, it's been fine. There are some things I'm working on that I want to use this camera for, and the one downside that it's had is with the cases that I have, uh, the microphone is always covered, and so you're not going to get very good sound. When I record with my iPhone, which is what I'm doing right now, I have a mic mounted on top of the camera that feeds directly into the phone and it produces decent audio. I can't say that about this one, but I found a fix and I want to show you how to do it. So one of the accessories that GoPro offers is what they call the skeleton case, which is basically the same as the waterproof case, except that there's a cutout on the side where you can access this area here, which is where you uh, insert your memory card and you can plug in an external mic through a USB adapter. And that would work fine. The, the downside to that though, in my opinion, is if you have the camera mounted inside that case and then you take the uh, microphone adapter and you plug that in, now your microphone is just gonna be dangling off here or you have to figure out some other way to connect it. And the skeleton case is like 25 bucks, I think, on Amazon. I have a, a better idea though, I think, and that is this little case here. It's a skeleton version as well. Um, I don't remember the name. It was kind of an off-brand name, but I'll include a link to it, to the Amazon page for it in, in the description. Anyway, this is milled from aluminum, so it's very heavy duty. And it has cutouts uh, where you would need them to be able to access that door and also to get to the uh, wireless on-off button. That part I don't really care about so much. It's the audio that I'm after. But what really seals it for me is it comes with a cold shoe mount on the top. And the microphone that I use has a cold shoe fitting. So then I would be able to take that same microphone that I'm using right now and plug, slide that in here and then plug it into the GoPro through this adapter. And then I should be able to get much better audio. There is a downside though. This mount, as it ships from Amazon, the hole that's in it isn't big enough to fit the standard hole used on a GoPro mount. There's a considerable difference in diameter there. One option that this particular uh, case gives you that kind of negates that, not for me, but for other people it may, is the GoPro adapter on the bottom is removable. In fact, when it comes in the box, this isn't on there. You have to screw it on. But right in the center, underneath this mount, there is a standard quarter 20 hole already tapped there. So you could put this on a regular tripod stand if you wanted to and just take this off altogether. But if you want to use it with an existing GoPro mount, you have to change the size of that hole. That needs to be drilled out. So I want to show you real quick how to do that and what you're going to need. It's not going to take anything fancy. You just need a 13 64th drill bit and of course a drill. And it would probably be better to take this mount off and put it on my drill press and do it that way, but I don't want to do that. So we're just going to do it this way. So I've got the 13 64th drill bit chucked up and I'm just gonna center it on the hole that's already there. So it's gonna act a little bit like a pilot hole and then just kind of slowly. I'm not going full speed on this because when you're drilling into metal, um, one thing that can happen is when the drill bit gets to a certain point, it can catch and then try to grab it out of your hand and where I'm not checking this up or clamping it down, which would probably be better. I'm just gonna go a little slower and then it shouldn't do that. Okay, there's the first one. I'm gonna hit it from the other side. And where this is made of aluminum, it actually drills pretty easy. So now that I've gone through on both sides, I'm just gonna push the drill all the way through just to make sure that the new larger diameter holes are in line with each other. Yep, all right, so we're ready to go. And with this case, the camera just slides in the back and then you have this little screw on the side that you can twist to kind of hold it in there a little bit. You don't want to go too tight, you don't want to damage the camera, but just enough that it doesn't fall out. All right, so now I'm gonna mount my microphone here and switch over to this camera so we can see how the audio sounds both with the mic and without.
Okay, so I now have the GoPro mounted to my tripod using the case after drilling that pilot hole. It all went on fine. I'm not using my external microphone. This audio is being recorded just with the microphone built into the GoPro. I'm going to plug that microphone in real quick so we can just compare and see if it sounds any better. All right, now we're using my external microphone sitting in that cold shoe attached to my GoPro through the USB microphone adapter. The microphone I'm using is a Rode uh, Video Micro, I think it's called. I'll double check and include a link in the description. Uh, but it's a fairly cheap mic. I think it was like 60 bucks, And it's worked really well on my iPhone. We're about to find out how well it does or doesn't work with the GoPro. But it's been a good camera so far. I'm going to switch back to my phone, but leave the GoPro mounted as is, just so I can show you what this setup looks like. Okay, so here's the GoPro mounted in that aluminum case with a regular GoPro tripod mount on my normal camera tripod. And then here is the Rode Video Micro. And right now it does have a dead cat filter on it. You can take that off. Here's what it looks like without the dead cat on. And then that just has a regular 3.5 millimeter plug that goes into the GoPro USB adapter, plugs into the GoPro, and now hopefully we have good audio. Um, I don't have this external monitor connected. I use that with my iPhone. Um, but I probably could if I could find an adapter to go from that little bitty HDMI to a standard HDMI, then I think I could also use this monitor with the GoPro. But that's an experiment for another day. Mm -hmm.